Hello, this video will cover the methods for demonstrating the warehouse physics scene in Omniverse Create. Before you start working with PhysX and simulations in Create, you'll need to activate an extension from the Windows Extensions menu. Enter the word flat in the search bar of the extensions window and you'll find the PhysX flat cache extension. Enable it here. Clicking on the gray bar will display the overview for the extension and you can enable the auto load option. Then whenever you return to create, the extension will load automatically for you. Now you're ready to open the warehouse physics scene from the NVIDIA demos folder in your content browser. Select NVIDIA, demos, warehouse physics, worlds, and open the scene called World Demo Pack USD by double clicking on it. The scene contains a large warehouse environment with numerous racks and stacked pallets of boxes in rows along the length of the large warehouse. Navigating around the scene, you get a nice look at the detail on all the boxes and the rendering effects used to create the atmosphere. Create's user interface is fully customizable, so you can arrange your window configuration for maximum screen real estate and add additional widgets and menus to your layout. Add the timeline by using Windows Animation Timeline. You can place the timeline anywhere in the UI where you feel it best fits your workflow. Hitting the play button starts the simulation. Because the physics dynamics and collisions have already been set up in the scene, the wrecking of the racks and boxes is automatic. Note how fast the simulation plays when you're viewing, especially while you can navigate the camera around the scene while it's playing. The simulation is triggered by two invisible objects at the far end of the warehouse. They appear in the hierarchy as two meshes whose visibility is toggled off. Clicking on the eyeball next to each one reveals the two scaled up rectangular boxes standing at the front of the racks. Each mesh has an attribute on them called linear velocity. This initial velocity is what creates the dynamic force which starts the domino effect on the racks down the length of the warehouse. You can experiment with different values to affect the toppling behavior. To disable the effect of the initial velocity, simply remove the values from those attributes on the tall cubes by clicking on the blue reset button next to the value field in the property panel. After resetting both of those values, pressing play results in gravity dropping those meshes to the floor without affecting the rest of the scene. Now you can experiment with another way of triggering the dynamic simulation. With the animation playing back, you can hold the shift key down while you left click and drag over an object in the scene to effectively throw it around the stage. It's a great way to interact with all the collisions and dynamic objects in real time, and the results you can get are compelling, entertaining, and really impressive in a demonstration. To add even more interest to an interactive demonstration, you can experiment with adding multiple cameras to the scene. Here, we're simply switching between three cameras which were previously added to this stage, one of which was animated using keyframes, and another that uses depth of field for more dramatic framing. You can, of course, learn more about the best methods to create and manage cameras by watching the cameras tutorial video included with the warehouse demo pack. The tutorial guides you through creating cameras, animating a camera, and then cutting them together into a sequence using Omniverse Create's sequencer. We encourage you to take the time to get familiar with these demo techniques to make your presentations more engaging and more fun. Thanks for watching.